Yo, what's good, everybody? It's Los here. We back on the throne of positivity, where the first is last and the last is first. I got something special coming up for you guys these next couple of weeks. We are officially upon the season of resolution. Tomorrow is literally New Year's Day. Most people have established within themselves some type of goal that they want to accomplish, whether that's uh, getting fit, going to the gym, eating right, uh, getting wealthy, becoming rich, becoming a new person, whatever it is, new year, new me, right? Um, so I thought it was imperative that we come up with a video series that corresponds to that season. Um, and the, the series is going to be called How to Change Your Life Right Now. I think that this is important because most people are trying to accomplish their goals. But I recently read a study where most people give up their goals at January 12th. By that time, not even two weeks in, they give up. And it's like... I'm okay with failing, but I'm not okay with giving up. So I want to give you guys some type of motivation or inspiration to continue to go past that, to give you some type of benchmark, some type of word or inspiration so that we can continue and really accomplish these goals. So the video that we're going to be um, talking about today is about the power of positivity, how to change your life right now through the power of positivity. I got to tell you, five years ago, I wasn't, be well, before five years ago, I wasn't the most positive person. I'm, I was nothing like I am right now. I was an insecure person. I had no vision, no purpose. I was young. I was maybe like 20 years old. I'm 26 now. So like I was 20 years old. And before that, it was just like, man, I had nothing going for myself. I was just working and it was just like, man. What am I going to do with my life, right? I had no idea. However, I came in contact with God and he truly changed my life. I was able to see the truth. I was able to see the, the, the positivity in life. I was able to see that sunshine, that, that, that glory, so to speak. And this morning, um, I was, I woke up at six o'clock in the morning. It's Saturday. Um, I shoot videos on Saturday and then Tuesday I upload it automatically via YouTube at 11 a.m. Um, it was six o'clock this morning. I woke up to meditate just to, to let my mind free, to allow it to, to flourish and just come up with ideas and really connect with God and see in the stillness of the early morning, what do I want to do? And all throughout the week at work, like, at both my jobs, like I'm just thinking like, what do I want to talk about? And the power of positivity, the number one thing that has been my foundation other than spirituality is positivity. This is what has allowed me to accomplish everything that I want to accomplish. And I want to, I want to impart that energy to you guys. So this morning I'm on dictionary.com. I'm like, let's, let's see what positivity means. Right? So I find the word and it says the state or character of being positive. And then it gives an example. It was saying a positivity that accepts the world as it is. Now for me, I was like, at face value, I'm like, I don't, I don't think that's what I want. Like, that's not how I'm trying to define, define positivity at all. Because my positivity is not just going to accept the world as it is. Because my goal, my purpose in life, my vision is to leave some type of impact on this world. I want to inspire you or motivate you to do something. I'm pouring out myself before this lens so that you can peer into my soul, see me for who I am, see the value of who I am, and then accomplish what you have to accomplish. That's my goal. That's what I want to do. That's what I wish to accomplish. And I'm, I'm working towards that right now. So the power of positivity, right? Like that word positive positivity, a positivity that accepts the world as it is. I was thinking the first thought that came to my mind was most of us have been hurt by the world. Most of us have been disappointed. Like not a lot of us, most people that I know 
um, I haven't had a good experience uh, growing up in poverty or whatever. I know a lot of different people from different classes and it doesn't matter about being in poverty or not. Like we just go through things and it's like, I, I don't think anybody would want the world to continue as it is. So a positivity that accepts the world as it is, I don't think that's enough. So I was like, you know what? I want to define this in a way that makes sense to what I'm trying to accomplish. I, I look up the word accept and it is to receive or to take, to agree with or to consent to. And then I was like, that still doesn't sound like what I'm trying to define this word as. And I keep on looking and there was a bullet point that said to undertake the responsibility to. I was like, wow. And just right above that, it said to accommodate or reconcile oneself to. I'm not trying to reconcile myself to anything. I'm trying to break into the world and make a way to make a way for, for myself, for the people that are before me and after me. And when I read to undertake the responsibility to, I was like, that's it. That's the definition that I'm going for. A positivity that undertakes the responsibility to change the world as it is today. That's it right there. This positivity is not just a positivity that if situations are going wrong, you got to be positive, like, oh, yeah, blah, 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 and ignore the facts. Yeah, I'm positive. However, I am a realist. Although I be in, I, I, I live ideally in my mind, I live in, in the realm of ideals, I am also a realist, and I live in reality. So I like to balance the two. So on the one hand of this positivity, right, we have the reality of the harsh world that is. And then we have the, the, the responsibility to change that world, right? We have the positive and we have the negative. The two attract and become one. And this is where ideology and reality live in perfect harmony. Why do I bring this up? Because I believe that in order to achieve any goal that you want to accomplish, it is important to know why you are doing it. For what purpose shall you accomplish this thing? So it is estimated that most people by January 12th, January 12th, not even two weeks in, give up on their goals. What? Like when I saw that study, I was, I was, I was blown away. I had no words overwhelmed i'm like wow really not even two weeks 12 days and it's like most people want to do these things for superficial reasons and it's like new year new me that's all we hear new year new me but we gotta change i've always seen new years instead of looking forward i look backwards new years is not my time to look forward and say these are all the things i'm gonna do in the year because then it's like, I right, are we really going to do it? I look backwards. What have I done up until this point with discipline and self-control so that I'm going to achieve these goals? How have I led my life up to this point throughout 2019 that's going to gear me and be the rudder of the ship to guide me towards the lighthouse at the end of 2020? And then I will rinse and repeat, and we're going to do the same thing next year. So I want to implore you to use the power of positivity in your life to bring that balance of reality. Have your ideal of the goal that you want to accomplish. Figure out what's the reality of that and allow discipline and self-control to bridge that gap and be the attraction so that it may live in per perfect harmony. I want you to achieve your goals because I believe in you. If nobody else believes in you, I believe in you. Comment down below. Let me know what your goals are. Let's keep each other accountable. I know what I want to do in the new year. I'm trying to pay off all my debts in the new year. In the new year, 
I want to be physically fit, spiritually fit, financial, relational, every single way. I want to be sound. I'm in the pursuit of becoming the perfect man, but not the perfect man in the world standards. When I say the perfect man, I'm saying the perfect lows, the perfect man that I could be. What is the potential that we can unlock? You can unlock the perfection that is you, not according to anyone else's standards, according to your own. You know the ability that you have. You know the potential. And if you don't, talk to me. DM me on Instagram, Facebook, whatever it is. Comment down below. Send me a PM, a personal message, private message, whatever. And we'll talk about it. I want to help you unlock that, that potential that you got hibernating within you. I'm here for you guys. I made this channel so that we could do what we have to do. This power of positivity, use it. Use it. Be real about what you want to do. Figure out what you want to do. Go out and get it. We here for it in 2020. This new year is coming, but we don't allow a new year, a new decade to define us. We don't let other people define us. We define ourselves through the power of positivity. Change your perspective on how you look at things. Don't allow yourself to be roused by situations and circumstances. No matter what it is you're going through, use the power of positivity and that perspective to change the lens, to change the focal point. Don't let nothing distract you. Accomplish that goal. And you will see at the end of this new year, you will have accomplished what you have set out to accomplish. <laughs> change your perspective and you shall see. For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. As you think in your soul, so are you in the physical. I want you to realize, start being conscious of what you're thinking. Don't let failure enter your mind. Not even failure, because I think failure is the most important component of success. Don't let giving up or quitting enter your mind and control you. Enjoy life. Change your perspective. Use that power of positivity and see if this doesn't begin the process of changing your life. Hit that notification bell every Tuesday, 11 o'clock. These videos will come out. Comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't. We here. 2020 is our year, is our decade. But today, today, and all the days that have led up to this define us. It is our habits that will change who we are. So let's change these habits. Let's change our perspective. I'm here for you, whatever you need. Let's get this together. We in the throne of positivity and nobody shall dethrone us. We out of here.